I've forgotten the next question. Um, um, Wait for it. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, I know what it is. I know it is. Now I'm heading into the pits of Fort William World Cup to ask, are downhill tracks in World Cup level getting too easy? Is it just too simple, lads? Oh, I think that's a, everyone complaining that it's getting too easy. I, I don't think it is. Do you see the amount of injuries they've had? I mean, everyone's just racing hard. The bikes are good. Yeah. So they're not too easy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just as hard as, as they ever were. They are tricky, just riding faster and yeah. Steve? I think they're getting easier, yeah. That's why you, that's why you stopped on it. The, the tracks are actually easier to ride. The riders are still going really fast and they're, and they're training up and, and yeah, it's, it's not easier as like a competition riding against each other, but the tracks are actually easier. They don't have any off camber turns up there anymore. They don't, there's no stuff where you've got to set up and get round a tree, round some tree roots or something like that. They, they just fill them all in and put Scott, berms in. This guy wants to turn it into trials. They put, well, <laughs> too much Scottish six days for you. That's what we used to do, now it's too easy. I could see why people would say that. Um, in some ways, yes. I think easy is the wrong word. I think more man-made and more, you know, a lot more. Um, but that the thing is, is it makes it so much faster for us. And I think it's almost more dangerous in, in some ways. Um, I like a lot more of a natural track, but then I grew up in Morzine, so, you know, I love built up berms and big jumps. A mixture of both is, is good, but um, I, I would say it's, it's all right at the moment. <laughs> the bikes are getting too good. That's, uh, that's probably what it is. I, I think they're a lot, you know, they're a lot more technical than they used to be in terms of some aspects, but I think the bikes are getting that good at the minute that they're just, they're becoming too easy for the bikes. Yes. I would say the only one that at last someone said yes. <laughs> the only one that was like Croatia was that was difficult. Yeah. You had to like, you had to ride that like a super course. You had to get the rhythm right. You had to hit your lines perfectly. Otherwise, you were it was game over. You know, kind of thing. So yeah, I think. But a lot of them, the bike part ones, I think they're too easy, too manicured. It's not natural. Is this one of those bike part ones? Probably, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, there's the issue with the bike park situations, you know, bike parks are getting bigger, so now it's less uh, fresh uh, woods to use and more environment people getting involved in the bike park, so it's more restriction. So more bike park, less fresh stuff, and more restriction with environment, so it, it's, it's getting hard to, to go back to the old natural courses but do we need to go back maybe it's good to freshen up and have like bike get faster and faster tracks maybe that's a good thing well there's a limit you know there's some venues that it's been way too much bike park and uh we are reducing it and getting it better so it's just a mix a mix is good you know but uh the old stuff uh, in my opinion i come from the, a bit the old school late 90s and early 2000s and uh and i like the natural forest minimum berms and you know i like uh you know nasty things but uh <laughs> but uh you know uh the new generation is a bit different you know they grew up on bike parks so they are used to different stuff as well so um yeah yeah because uh well this is why i say this it's like you have, now you're just like going so fast that uh, when they're a bit harder, you get to go a little bit slower, so I like that. <laughs> yeah. Was Croatia hard enough? Yeah, Croatia was hard, but you get, you're like, you're like nibbling down. So yeah, yeah I'd like it to be way more technical. And then you've, uh, yeah, you, you can play around with a bit more time. Like yeah, it. I like a bit more spread. You don't want like 20 guys on one second, cause then, yeah. Like Leo Gang's like the hardest one to race. Yeah. Cause everyone, you make one mistake and you're just yeah. thinking you've lost 50 yeah. places. Are World Cup down on tracks getting too easy? Well, yeah, it's funny you should say that because last night I was thinking about, you know, this track here, Fort William, and I was thinking, you know, a couple of years ago, it was actually way harder because the new section they've put in from the deer gate, that gives you a bit of a break. It's pretty smooth right now. The old section is absolutely wrecked, like bed rock, rocks everywhere, so gnarly. And then you used to drop into the woods and the woods was way harder than it is now. It used to be, I was thinking last night, how do we even ride that, you know? And now I'm thinking, oh, Thank, thank goodness, you know, it's a lot easier. It is a lot. Um, I think they're getting more high speed and faster. But, you know, I used to, at Schladming, you know, you, it would be raining in the night. You'd 
before the race and I woke up and my stomach would just drop and I think, oh my God, I'm not even going to be able to get down the track, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I think they're getting like easier on a whole for sure, but maybe uh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good I still crash, so they can't be that easy. <laughs> I personally enjoy the, um, the fact of we are mountain bikers, whereas we have to like interpret the terrain and it's constant change. Yeah which is where I was starting, a lot of the guys started. The, the track's changing every run. We've got dirt, we've got roots coming out, we've got turns that are getting blown out, this, that and the other. You always have to change your lines up. Now I feel it is bike parky. We are, we are fighting on the same line. We have to ride this down the same meter of track week in, week out, which is it's changed. Basically the sport's changed. It's, not, it's no longer like outdoor motocross where we, where we used to like put cut spikes on every other weekend and rip down new fresh dirt it's you know we're we're hardening suspension up we're um lengthening the bikes to make it stable at high speeds and it's different you know it's not necessarily better or worse but i think it's becoming less mountain biking like you said it i think the sport's got faster the tracks Easier, but the bikes are better. Yeah, that's right. I wouldn't have said Val de Sole was easy, is it? No. I mean, even Val de Sole, which is horrific, it's still fast. Do you know what I mean? Like, everyone's so good and the bikes are so good, but as Eddie hates times being tight, that's what I love. Give me a leer, gang, mate. <laughs> Televised almost from the top to the bottom. The top turn separated by about 0.11 of a second. That's what we're looking for. It's all good if I win by like <laughs> five or six seconds though. That's all good, yeah. Even if it's like 0.5, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly not for me. Um, yeah, I mean, these kids, the talent right now with, with these young kids coming up is, is incredible. The juniors right now are just flying. Um, I think that... Wow, uh, that's a tough one. The talent is just getting so great. Uh, um, uh, maybe something to think about, but nah, I can't say that. No, I mean, these, these courses are really tough. These kids are just, their abilities are just amazing. Uh, we can't forget that, so. You could say that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, like, the likes of Leo Gang, mm -hmm. um, it's pretty bike parky, and it's, it's more of like, whoever can go fastest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, it's, it's easy to make mistakes on that sort of stuff because you're you're obviously trying to go as fast as possible. Yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, like the likes of uh, Andorra, Valdesol, they're, they're the real tracks, yeah. and I think we need more yeah. more tracks like that for yeah. sure. Um, are World Cup downhill tracks becoming too easy? From my point of view, never having ridden a World Cup downhill track, I think they just keep getting more and more ridiculous. That's what I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, when you look at Lozinge, what they were going down there, that's brutal. I bet, you know, and it's a different challenge here. It's longer, it's continuous, it's harder. You know, they get to the bottom and they're absolutely beaten up. And I think that's the best thing about World Cup, having different types of courses. So you've got a big, long, grueling challenge here and then short, venues elsewhere, steeper, more technical, Val de Soli, whatever. You know, it, that's the whole beauty of having a World Cup series is having different events. So they're not all sanitized the same thing each time. Yeah. Well, middle ground, I think. Some people thought the tracks are too easy. Others thought the speed was good. I don't know, looking at these tracks myself, it doesn't look easy here at Fort William at all. The trek looks treacherous. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are World Cup tracks getting too easy? If you want to watch some more GMBM videos, then click over here for speed versus style. Hit the globe to subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up like, especially if you think downhill tracks are perfect.